Namaste. This is David Thompson. I want to speak to you about stepping into your true self, working from your highest intention. The way to step into your true self and to align with your higher self is to eliminate yourself from fear, any doubt, any self-worry, any lower states of emotion. The easiest way to go through this is to listen to your inner voice, allow your guides to help you, and to be patient and to be calm with all things. constantly manipulate your reality to know that any emotion, any feeling that you're expressing can always be changed within a split second. If you are in a bad mood, you can turn it into a great mood. If somebody is reflecting bad emotions upon you, you can step back and be like, this is not what I want for my highest good. Express self love, then that person will either step out of your vibration because yours is too high or raise their own to reflect yours. We are only images of the next. We look at mirrors of ourselves. So when you see bad things from other people, you're just reflecting upon an emotion or etc that you do not like about, about yourself so when you make yourself a more happier individual other people around you will also become happier everybody else's vibration will also rise so you taking care of you aligning yourself will align other people, you would activate people. And the more that you do this, the more happier you will become, the more excited you will become to just do anything, to step out the house and just say hi, to be able to have the ability to say hi, to communicate with any individual on any kind of level. This raises your vibration. Because to engage into conversation with any being, it raises their vibration. As long as it's positive and your intention is high. This brings the whole platform of our existence to a new level. Because now, you're just assisting in the ascension of raising the vibration. I have an example, as I go into work, I greet every single person there. I come with a smile and I speak loudly. <laughs> and I say, hey, what's going on? How you doing? You know, because our mouth, our hands, our feet, this vessel, but mostly the hands, feet, and mouth is where we release energy. So, that being said, I release positive, uplifting energy, shock everybody like that, and bring them up a level. Everybody at work, I bring them up a level. So we're all on an even kill. You know, just doing my part. Because if you're ever at work, you constantly see people like this. They're in robot mode, working from their subconscious, and they're not conscious of what they're doing. And they fall into a lower state of tiredness and boredom. Tiredness and boredom are lower states. Excitement and happiness, this is what we need. Because when you express excite, excitement and happiness, you are stepping into your true self. You become one with your true self. This is your true nature, your truest nature, your truest form. So you get that much closer to your higher self.
your over self. The one. And in this state, you will open up your field higher and higher, wider and wider, out, up. And when you open up your field, a lot more things are possible for you because they say we are like an antenna. So I can say opening your field is like stretching your antenna or having a better, newer antenna. So when you throw out your frequency, now your field is much larger and your antenna is much longer. You can, you, you can pick up the frequency that you want. Before you couldn't pick up those frequencies so you didn't even know they existed. You didn't even know about the possibility of. Now that you know about the possibility of, you can look towards that. You can adjust your frequency, your station, to that, what you want, what your intention is, and align and bring that into your field. When your field is higher, a lot more people will become attracted to you. There will be I'm talking about on the physical, there will be lower forms, more energetic forms. Like people will come to you for healing. They would want to express their self, release their self. Then there'll be people that just want to stay around you because they love your vibration. And there's also people that would not be able to be around you because the differences in vibrations will cause like an, a kind of a negative and a positive um, magnet. They'll just push away and they won't understand. But still, when you have that friction with another being, all you have to do is eliminate that by changing your perspective of the person. It doesn't matter how they feel. It doesn't matter what's going on on the outside because it's not the outside. It's all you. You create your own reality. Anything that you perceive that's going on, true or not true, it is coming from you. So if somebody else doesn't like you for no apparent reason, you fix that. You don't ask them to fix it. You fix it. You can just engage them and say hi and have a conversation of their liking to uh, bring them back in alignment with you. And doing all these things makes you more loving than all the lower energetic forms of thought will just go away. All the illusion will go away. All the things that you want will quickly come to you, fastly come to you, faster than ever before, in the things that you do not want, <laughs> that you focus on will also come to you, anything, the higher your field is, the faster you will attract to you, and this is something that we all know, so be aware of that, do not be afraid, there's nothing to be afraid of, so, when you step outside, when you wake up in the morning, there's things that you should do. Say that you love yourself and you love others. Then express that and make that true. Once you do that, your level of vibration will raise. And you live from your highest intent, you will become more of your true self. that is the end of this video i hope you guys can take something with you love you guys namaste